Hi folks, Bob Collins with Diver Supply. I'm here with the Garmin booth and the world famous Patrick. <laughs> he agreed to, uh, to help me do the interview and, and do the product kind of announcement as far as we're concerned. Slight name change, we're moving for, to the 43 millimeter and 51. So it'll all be Mark III, okay. Mark III I, and then we're uh, denoting them by size. So we'll have the 51 millimeter and we'll have the 43 millimeter. Okay, so everybody that's wished that they could have the smaller Garmin, as we are all calling it today, mm -hmm. uh, can have that in the smaller size and have have had air integration. Air integration. That's right. Yeah, and some of the cool features. And what we're going to do is, what Patrick's going to help me just kind of, you know, basically go over some of these. We're not going to go into depth because we're going to do a full-blown video about these computers. But they got to got to get them in the hands first. And I think maybe they're going to help me get one. So what we're going to do is we're going to start down here okay. and let's start with the big one. You bet. If you don't mind. Patrick, what do we have? Yeah. So here at DEMA 2023, we just announced a whole new lineup of Descent Mark III dive computers. So this is a huge step uh, along our path of delivering what we think are the best dive computers on the market. Um, starting with our large size, the Descent Mark III I in 51 millimeter. So uh, big new features on the Descent Mark III eyes. Brand new display, bright AMOLED display. And it's uh, bright. Super bright, uh, nice and crisp, super pops at night, bright enough to see in, in uh, sunlight though. So it's really, really fantastic screen. We've also added touchscreen. So uh, you can use the touchscreen now as an interface to set up and manage your dive computer also for all the day-to-day -day features that you get on the, uh, the Descent Mark III series. We upped the depth rating. So we went from a 10 ATM depth rating to a 20 ATM depth rating. Wow. We kept our sapphire display, our leak-proof inductive button design. We keep all the biometrics, heart rate, pulse ox, and all the smartwatch features that you've come to expect in the Garmin products. Um, we have added a few new software features too that are worth talking about. We have a new diver readiness score. So if you're wearing your watch every day, you'll start to collect your sleep data, your stress data, um, your jet lag if you've just traveled, and we'll start to feed that back to you in what we call a diver readiness score that helps you understand that morning of the dive when you're getting up and getting ready to go, you know, how charged up are you? How prepared are you for that dive? Maybe pay a little attention to your gear setups, to your conservatism. And, and I was talking to the, the group here and one of the guys I was chatting with actually was telling me that if he doesn't sleep well at night or maybe he's not feeling well or something along the way, he's bad, had a bad day, it kind of senses that sort exactly. of thing and gives you feedback on it. Exactly. That's, that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I mean, as divers, we need to be tip top. Absolutely. You know? uh, we've also added what we call our new dive view maps. So we have bathymetric color shaded maps of the bottom contours across many areas in the US, North America, Europe, and Africa. That'll be expanding over time, but it allows you to get out to the dive site and see a little bit of a, a bathymetric contour of what's going on underneath you. Uh, in combination with the GPS waypointing system that we have that lets you really drop straight down onto that site and understand a little bit of what the topography is gonna be like on the bottom when you really get down big. There. I mean, some of us, yeah, we're like, I'm a Florida diver mostly. You go to a new location, you get a chance to do that. Maybe you don't have a buddy there or something. That feature is gonna be big for us so that we have a better understanding and we're not wasting time trying to figure out Absolutely. necessarily what's there. So big, big feature. Absolutely. Okay. What else do we see? So a couple other features on the, uh, the Mark III I series. It keeps a lot of the features that our users have loved and come to expect, our, your bikes, your hikes, your runs, all of the surface feature, uh, surface activity tracking. It keeps our quick fit band system. So if you're wearing it over like the titanium bracelet that I've got here, and I wanna put this over my dry suit, this quick pop of the latch basically allows you to strap on a long Thank, strap. Let's hold it. 
you know, a long strap, a silicone strap that comes with the product. We also offer a bungee band option, so if you want to put that over a nice dry suit, those bungee bands are really, really popular. We ever offer a ton of different quick fit band options for the entire lineup of Descent products. Okay. Uh, right. Also on the MK3i 51 millimeter, the larger, we have a brand new feature, which is a flashlight. So this is a very bright uh, flashlight, not just the screen lighting up, but an actual set of LEDs in here in both white and in red. That allows you to have a hands-free tool to be able to use uh, when you're setting up your dive gear, double tap, turn it on, use this to set up your dive gear on the boat in the morning, set up for a night dive, find a matching pair of socks in the drawer in the morning. There you go. <laughs> you key, know, key back to the hotel. The key back to the hotel. Yeah, you're read the, to read the menu at the restaurant at, after know? the dive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's one of those things that seems really simple, but I can't tell you how much I use this flashlight on my wrist now, just yeah. having that hands-free yeah. ability. Yeah, and I mean, think about it. Many of us buy those little, little tiny flashlights, mm -hmm. double A flashlights, and this will be such a big benefit. Hey, Dano. <laughs> um, so it's it's one of those things that we, it, it just is such a great idea. It's a know? it's a great little tool, and in dive. It's not going to be your primary light, yeah. but if you need yeah. a backup light, you didn't bring a light, you just want to look underneath a coral shelf, heaven forbid your primary light dies and you need a way to find the way back, it's a great tool just to have on now your Now remember, you can buy these computers and you don't have to have it air integrated. Correct. So you, if, if you're a, a big fan of looking at your pressure gauge, and not have an air integration at, at your wrist tip, fingertip, wrist tip, then, you know, you the, the light, you could even come in, help there. Absolutely, check your make, gauges with yeah, it, for sure. Yeah, makes a big, big difference as far as that's concerned. Now, are the transmitters with these units, are they different? They are, so it's a great segue into what you get if you do want to run air integrated. So we have for a long time run our T1 transmitter with your MK2i and Garmin has, has used a, a novel technology in the space. We use what we call subwave sonar based communication between the watch and the transmitter, which uses sonar uh, to collect that uh, tank pressure off the transmitter, receive it on the watch. And that's let us extend the range of, uh, of that uh, distance between the uh, transmitter and the watch for the big, re the big benefit of having you as a buddy team be able to monitor each other in the dive. With the MK3i, we've extended the number of divers that you can have in that team up to eight. So you can monitor from one watch, you can monitor now up to eight different transmitters. So if you're an instructor and you've got transmitters on your student you can regulators. Absolutely. You know, we see these transmitters that have the flashing LEDs and things like that, but Remember, if your student or your buddy diver is not turned in the right direction, exactly, you can't see that. So with so. this, you can literally pull up a list of all eight of those transmitters. You can see their tank pressure. You can see their depth. We also transmit depth from this. And then here at the show, we've announced our new T2 transmitter, which also adds a couple of new features that are coming with some upcoming software releases later this year, early Doesn't next it year. have a, um, a little longer reach maybe? It has a, it has a longer reach. So yeah. we have uh, for your tank pressure, for depth, and we're also adding distance. <clears throat> That'll go up to 10 meters. So 30 feet away, you're being able to see all of the, the information about the divers you're diving with. And we're also adding coming up messaging. So diver to diver messaging. In other words, hey, you're Look too me, far away. Come to me. Yeah. Are you okay? Let's end the dive. Yeah things that that messaging feature will work up to 30 meters away. Yeah. So that's a big game changer. If you lose somebody, you lose sight of them in the muck, uh, you can look down at that, see, do they have air? What's their depth? How far away from me are they? And hey, let's, uh, let's message each other and make sure yeah. we're okay. So remember missing buddy rule, you know, look for one minute, meet it to surface sort of thing. So this is that next step to help you control. I was actually watching a video this morning and the dive master got way out in front of the group and you know, it was not necessarily the best thing. Sure. 
But being able to message folks like, hey, get a little closer. So again, if you've got a significant other, or maybe you've got a significant other that's, I'm going to say like a son, a daughter that's not real experienced, you can put, and they're canned messages, that's basically. That's right. Pre-canned right. so, messages. Uh, you'll have a hotkey to pull up that message list. It's a couple of taps to pick the right message, hit send. So yeah. it's very easy. So pretty, pretty cool there. Super, to me, it's such a safety thing. It is. And anything we can do to add to our safety, remember, in scuba diving, we have five big things and it's safety safety <laughs> safety want to guess what the other two are probably safety and safety there you go yeah, <laughs> absolutely. absolutely absolutely patrick we got a the smaller version like we talked about in the beginning what's the big difference between the 40 43 millimeter 43, 43 and 51 millimeter yeah so by far one of the most popular most frequent questions we got when we launched our descent mark ii series was, hey, the small size at that time did not have air integration. We want air integration in the small size. <clears throat> so we brought that to the table now with the Mark III I-43 millimeter. So it's very, very close to the same size as that Mark II uh, watch, but we've added in the same subway-based air integration capabilities we just talked about, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Mark III I-51 millimeter. So you get the, the same uh, air depth, uh, distance and diver to diver messaging features now in the small size. The, the big difference from a watch perspective, you don't have the flashlight. Uh, it's one, one, my, one difference yeah. with the small and the battery life's gonna be a little bit different. We can fit a bigger battery in the right. larger size, don't have quite as much room in the smaller size, but boy, the smaller size is small. It's easy to wear every day, which is what we really hope people do with yeah. these products. What, what about color choices on these? Sure, on the large size, you have diver's favorite color, which is black. <laughs> For the, uh, the 43 millimeter size, we actually have three different options. We have this uh, French gray with this beautiful bronze bezel. That's cool looking. We yeah. have a uh, black, uh, which is always a classic. We also have one non-air integrated option in the 43 millimeter size, uh, which comes in this fog gray with a stainless steel bezel. It looks so really if you, nice. If you want a non-air yeah. integrated option, save you a little bit of money, you can go with this uh, 43 millimeter. They all work with those quick fit bands. And again, you can uh, swap those bands out um, on all of these models. Uh, they all have the bright AMOLED display. They all have all the new software features. So again, really the only difference with those is uh, flashlight and the uh, battery life. Yeah. Now, availability, what's the story on the availability? Yeah, sure, so these are hot off the presses here at the show, yeah. so these are starting to get shipped out to our dealers and distributors now. So it'll probably be a, a few weeks, uh, probably here mid-December, we'll start seeing these mostly show up across the uh, across all of our dealer channels, so check with your dealer, uh, see what they've got in stock, but they'll, they'll be showing up soon. And your dealer is who? <laughs> Diver Supply. Diver Supply. Exactly. Of course, right. of course. And, and again, I'm going to put links for all the models down in the description so that you can click on them and find them. You can uh, call the 800 number and maybe get on the waiting list or pre-order, that sort of thing. That's what I've done. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm excited to get one myself. <laughs> but uh, if you haven't subscribed, we are like... 70 subscribers away from 10,000. That's amazing. <laughs> so I need you to uh, hit that subscribe button down there if you would and help us get there. Patrick, I appreciate you giving me the 411 on the, on the new units. And again, as we always say here at Diver Supply, dive safe out there. Thanks for watching.